So you're here because you want to start a gaming channel on YouTube. And honestly, who wouldn't? I mean, it's really fun to just hop on your favorite game and just hit record and start playing and have a new video for your channel. I really wish it was that easy. There are so many different aspects um, when it comes to starting your own YouTube channel, especially with gaming. You know, you got your recording software, your microphone, your game choice. And I know when I was first starting out, I was a little lost and there were a lot of things that I hadn't even considered before I started my channel. Channel. So whether you're a Sims fanatic just like me or a Minecraft player, a Stardew Valley player, a Grand Theft Auto online player, you can start your gaming channel on YouTube today and set it up for success with the tips that I'm about to share with you guys. The number one tip on my list is to figure out why you want to start your channel and also to set realistic expectations. So I'm going to be honest here, if you are starting your channel just because you want to make money off of it, it's not going to work out. There is a very, very small chance that your channel channel will ever get anywhere if you don't actually have the passion and drive to upload videos. For example, I started this Sims 4 YouTube channel because I just love storytelling. I love telling stories and I love sharing my stories with other people through the Sims and it just that was my number one motivator into creating this channel. Now don't get me wrong, getting paid from doing this is definitely a plus, especially if you love what you're doing even if you would never be paid for it. So just sit down and ask yourself why you want to do this. As for the realistic expectations part, just kind of be realistic with yourself in the sense that you're probably not going to blow up overnight. For most YouTubers, and I say most, okay, it's usually a slow and steady progress before you can really start to see some growth on your channel. My second tip for you guys, even before you create your channel at all, is to get familiar with YouTube SEO and analytics. SEO basically stands for search engine optimization, and I could go really deep into it, but it's basically how YouTube sends your videos to other people or shows it on the home page to other people or even on the sidebar of this video where you even might see more of my videos. Basically just how YouTube brings your videos to other people. And I know at the time of this video, I don't have too many subscribers, but I definitely did have a lot more growth when I was paying attention to the YouTube SEO and analytic, putting descriptive tags in my videos, in my video's title, in my description, rather than when I was just uploading a video and didn't do anything with it. But I know a lot of you guys like myself don't even know where to start with this kind of stuff? Well, there is actually this wonderful, wonderful extension that is approved by YouTube that'll kind of help you with that. And it is called TubeBuddy. From the TubeBuddy website, it says TubeBuddy is a free browser extension as known as a browser plugin that adds a layer of tools directly on top of YouTube's website. After installing TubeBuddy, simply go to youtube.com and you'll see our features right inside their site designated by the TubeBuddy logo. So I have the pro license for TubeBuddy, but obviously it is still free. And even with the free version, there is still a lot that you can do. The star and the legend versions do kind of offer a little bit more, but I honestly think all you need is the pro version. And right now it says it's 720 a month, but if you have less than a thousand subscribers, you get 50% off. Plus, if you type in my TubeBuddy code, you get an extra 20% off. So in total, 70% off. The video that I just showed you that says that it's going to be 720 a month instead of nine, that is going to be way less for you if you choose to do that 50% off for less than a thousand subscribers. I couldn't do that just because it already recognizes my YouTube channel. But if you do the 50% off and my code that gives you 20% off, it's going to be really cheap. And I would actually recommend if you are looking to do YouTube um, as kind of a full-time thing or even a part-time thing, I would definitely do the yearly instead of monthly just to kind of get it out of the way. But yeah, my discount code is just Anomaly. That's just the name of my channel. I will leave a link down below in the description that will take you to TubeBuddy's website. So you can purchase it if you would like. My third tip for you guys is to find a niche within the game that you're wanting to play. So if you're just playing one game on your channel, do you want to do just challenges? If it's kind of a building sandbox game, do you just want to do build? Are you just creating characters? Are you just making funny videos or even tutorials? It's okay to branch out every once in a while, but you kind of have to make sure that your channel is pretty much keeping the same niche or else if somebody visits your channel and they see a bunch of different types of videos that are all over the place, they're not really going to know what your channel is about. And a lot of people do look for specific niches. I know for The Sims, there's channels about solely building. There's channels about solely creating Sims and there's channels about solely storytelling. But obviously this applies for games like Minecraft or Rust, Valorant, 
Fortnite, Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, it really applies to every single one of these games. So again, sit down, maybe get a notepad and kind of write out um, what you kind of like to do with these games and what kind of videos you'd like to produce. One thing I would recommend is not doing any Let's Plays until you get um, more advanced in your channel. Um, and I know you're probably like, oh, Allie made Let's Plays all the time. Well, I'm going to be honest, as much as I enjoyed them, they were just not garnering views. And views are not the only thing that are important. But if you are wanting to make a career out of this, that's you kind of have to care about it, but you can care about your video's monetary value and also have fun with it. it, it it's not two separate things. You can definitely do it. If you really, really do want to do Let's Plays, go ahead. But I would suggest um, doing different videos first that, you, that you've seen have gained a lot of views. Obviously, be original and obviously be creative. If you gain a following later, then do Let's Plays because your Let's Plays are more likely to do better overall if you have a lot more viewers and a loyal fan base. Tip number four is to interact and be present with your subscribers and promote your content on other platforms. So obviously with these bigger YouTubers that get thousands of comments a day, they're not able to read and like and comment back to every comment that we get. Us small YouTubers, we have an advantage over them, believe it or not, because we don't get as many comments. So we are able to kind of reply to almost every comment that we have. If you get comments on your videos, no matter if it's 1, 10, 100, try to comment back to all of them. Engage with your viewers, talk to them. If they ask you a question, say, you know, respond to the question and ask them a question back. Keep the conversation going and that'll definitely help with viewer engagement as well, which is another big factor into getting your channel off the ground. My fifth tip relates to equipment. You do not need crazy expensive equipment to have a successful YouTube channel. Guys, I, start, I started out with a blue snowball, okay? And that was like 40 bucks at Walmart. It wasn't the best but it wasn't the worst either and it got the job done. This microphone I have here is actually a Rode Podcaster mic and it runs for about $99. It's a pretty inexpensive, high quality microphone. You also don't need a crazy webcam or anything. <laughs> the webcam I'm using right now is literally like six years old and I found it in a box in my closet and I was like, oh, I'm gonna use this. Obviously you can work towards getting better things, but I just wanna let you guys know that you don't need crazy expensive equipment to get off the ground. My most viewed video was when I was using that blue snowball with not the best quality, but I got a lot of positive comments from that and nobody noticed it at all. You are gonna notice it obviously because it's your video and you are your biggest critique, um, but your viewers and subscribers really won't notice. I will have a list below of what I use in terms of equipment and recording software, editing software, for stuff like that. And my last tip is to be yourself. Now, if being yourself means you're just a mean person, don't. <laughs> I'm just going to give you guys the benefit of the doubt and just assume that you guys are kind people. When I first started, I had um, a favorite YouTuber that I always like to watch. And I will admit, I kind of tried to be like that person in my first few videos because I was like, well, if this person has all these subscribers and viewers, I want to be like them. So I'm going to act like them and maybe I'll get, I was in the wrong headspace. I got to be honest, but truly be yourself. If you're funny, outgoing, quirky, be your funny, outgoing and quirky self. Even if you're shy and quiet, like I am, which I know it may not seem like I am on the video, but I really am. That is totally okay because you could definitely go into like ASMR gaming channels. There are a lot of gaming channels out there that are really soft and peaceful and really relaxing to listen to. So don't think you are just completely out of luck just because you're more of a quiet or shy person. Overall, just be who you want to portray to the world. Have fun with what you're doing. I will say that it's not going to always be easy. There are times where I just don't want to film a video and that's okay. Don't pressure yourself to upload every single day because like always, like I always like to say, quality over quantity when it comes to your videos and just have fun with it because it is honestly the best thing that you will probably ever decide to do. If you yourself are a gaming YouTuber or you just have any other tips that you would like to share, go ahead and type it all out in the comments. I'll also leave a few videos of how to use TubeBuddy um, because I'm not really good at explaining that stuff, but I know a lot of other YouTubers that have explained it really well. That's how I I learned. So don't forget to open the description box. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave it a like. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. I'm almost at a thousand, which I literally cannot believe. I'm so grateful. Thank you guys. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.